I ordered in the past quite a few, say, electric microphone capsules. And the type number was this EMI 63 MP. That's very important. And of course, you can find it on the World Wide Web. Luckily, that's what I wanted to tell. Uh, so here you see the backside of that uh, electret microphone capsule, and it has extremely good properties. Say, uh, it can uh, pick up audio signals between, say, 50 hertz and 20 kilohertz, and the the frequency range is even flat. So uh, that's what it's now all about. And when you look, it, it's it's a tiny, tiny capsule here. But when you look closely with a looking glass, you will see here these three, uh, say, uh, uh, connections, electrodes, that do their job and that have to be connected to the minus. Such an electric um, capacitor, uh, capacitor microphone, electric microphone, it's also a capacitor in, in, in a kind of way, but anyway, needs a voltage. And that voltage can be regarding to the properties of this um, this unit between 1.5 and 10 volts. So I think it's a very interesting electric capsule, microphone. You have to supply it thus via this electrode here. This is the plus. And uh, it goes here to that resistor and that resistor say is uh, responsible for, say, the supply voltage that could be between 1.5 and 10 volts. So you have to supply that electric capsule via a resistor in the range uh, of, again, here 1.5 up to 10 volts. Well, that is say completely logical and uh, anyway I'm now working again on a hearing aid for elderly but I want want to make it now in a much more easy way um, anyway with two transistors or three transistors so not an enormous big focus focus on uh, low noise. Anyway, uh, this I will surely use this electric microphone. This one here. And they are here. And wait, well, let's look at the data sheet. I found it on the World Wide Web and it's com very, very interesting. This is the data sheet. Uh, well, what can we see here, learn here? The sensitivity is 38 decibel. Uh, I have to say, I don't understand what that means in practice, but anyway. Omnidirectional, well, that's of course uh, completely logical. The microphone, this tiny, tiny microphone, picks up the sounds of everywhere. And of course you can say uh, adapt that a little bit by say making a housing to that microphone that it makes more uh, uh, directional. Anyway, current consumption maximum 0 0.5 milliampere. That's 500 microampere. Well, that's quite good. Standard operation voltage between 1.5 and 10 volts, so it has a quite high 
voltage range where this beautiful uh, mini uh, electret capsule can work. Sensitivity reduction, I don't know what it means anyway. Signal to noise ratio is 60 decibel. Well, that's in general, say the classic uh, signal to noise ratio that was often used in uh, old school 1970s, 1980s uh, amplifiers. And microphones, of course, also microphones. Operation, operation temperatures, well, that's not, not very interesting. But anyway, um, so I'm going to do an experiment with this beautiful uh, electric capsule. Here are the dimensions and of course you can find that on the World Wide Web. Here is the frequency range. That's of course always very interesting. It's flat between 20 Hz and 20 kilohertz or so with a very tiny blob here. Not relevant. And here is that capsule again. And here are the pin connections. So, thanks for watching. Six minutes. Well, it took a quite long time. I had not expected that. And, well, this is, say, the way that you can use this circuit. And I'm surely going to use that circuit in that way. Thanks for watching. You see here, by the way, this converter, well, it's not completely uh, clear whether there is that converter is inside that microphone capsule. I propose, and I'm more or less completely sure, that the impedance converter is inside that capsule. Often it's made with a field effect transistor. When we look at the, uh, say, uh, classical theory about this, these kinds of microphone capsules. Anyway, so the only thing that I'm going to do now is here connect uh, the whole circuit like I have showed it here. Well, let's go to the circuit in reality. It's on my breadboard. At the moment it is surely not successful. Um, well, a trivial battery here. Uh, the amplifier has to be uh, made again because I made a two transistor amplifier here but it oscillated well that's not good this is by the way the way that I'm going to make that hearing aid again but I want to make it in a more simple way so this is say the first experiment where I want to use that beautiful electric microphone capsule I hope when it works I will can publish a new circuit. Again, thanks for watching.